What is going on, guys? Welcome back so soon. Chicken piccata, cream Brussels sprouts, chocolate ice cream, hitting play, have the uh, original intro, no update, no vlogs. I am optimistic. Let me start by saying, if you're hurting and in so much pain, as she says, why are we sitting on the floor? If where they live at has a pool, which everyone knows is the most low impact you can get in water, why are we not using that? She's still talking about the Advil, the Tylenol. She's saying she took an aspirin. She has... I don't know exactly what she has here. She says that Kuwait is the number one obese country in the world? That 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 cannot be right. And that's easily Googleable. She says there's a lot of diet centers there. Meal prep. Oh my god. Is this meal prep? It's a diet service. Oh. They portion the meal. Here's the problem with this. Number one. Th this is not feasible. I I'm going to appreciate and applaud the effort. But this is not feasible for her to live off these meals for the rest of her life. She has to train herself to cook proper meals, to enjoy proper meals. All the food that we just bought, everything that we just went and got is not going into this meal. And you know what is going into this meal? Lots and lots of plastic. The other side of this is, this is great for a convenience aspect. Someone that works, someone that doesn't have time, someone that wants an easy solution. But at the same time, Chantal is none of those things. So the whole meal appears to maybe have 600 calories, which is fantastic. I will say it looks all right. She's going for the chocolate ice cream first. She's going over all the nutritional information like it matters. But I, I would wonder, you know... What is she doing with this? What is working hand in hand with this? Because while this is great, and here is the cat again, you know, while this is great, who is it designed for? Who is it tailored for? Right? Is it designed for a person that has very, very limited mobility? More than likely not. She has a cup of something. She's acknowledging she needs to lock the cat in the room. She says the, I guess this is some type of salad, has a dressing with it. The cat is eyeing up the chocolate ice cream. She's scalding the cat. She doesn't like artichokes, but she says they're good for you. I'm not a big fan of Brussels sprouts or artichokes, any vegetable for that matter. She's taking a big beauty bite of it. And the orgasmic reactions are not there. The eyes rolling. All the moaning and groaning. This was met by a simple, mm, it's good. Tells you all you need to know. She's taking a bite of the Brussels sprout now. Are these utensils plastic as well? So this was like a full convenience meal for her. She's not sure what the meal is. She's questioning the bacon because pork is not acceptable there. She's now saying this came from the low-carb section. She wants to add in rice. Chantal, if you're going to start adding to these meals, you defeat the whole purpose. You're supposed to eat it as it arrives. Adding rice, adding anything is defeating the purpose. And that's the first thing she thinks of. So you have a timestamp after an edit. We're four minutes and 30 seconds in. And she's already wanting to add things to these meals. Because the portions are not consistent with what she's been eating, what it takes to satisfy her, what she wants. So you're setting yourself up for an expense. She's already got a big blob of it on her. 
she doesn't realize this now. You can really tell the, the chicken is tender because even with the plastic fork, it's not struggling. She's still talking about how, oh, it's dripping all over her face. And she now recognizes that it's on her, a nice big eye roll. But she's already saying, oh, rice would be so great to, you know, soak all this up. She at least acknowledges here she's a mess. I'm assuming she's not going to give the cat any of this. She says it's pretty good. I wonder how many of these, how many of these meals she got. I would assume just one would be very expensive, like a la carte. But again, I mean, all the fresh food and vegetables they just bought at that market. I guess that's this gives me. What was the, as I got a Google Pixel, no, I, I don't tr Google, I love you, but I don't trust you for my phones. That would be a Samsung. But to me, the challenge here becomes, is this going back to, was it every plate? The cat is pulling the plastic off the table. And this is funny to her. You know, the, the animal is not learning how to handle itself. She's giving us a price now. Come on, Chantal, get it out. She's literally still $16 Canadian. That's a pretty expensive meal. When you have... Oh, she has to ask Salah. She's not... I guess Salah bought this, as always, for his queen. But I'm beginning to wonder if all of this wasn't brought on by him. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure that he was seeing the income expected based on the meals that were being ate and the amount of food and money that was being spent. So I, I think he probably told her, listen, we're, we're changing gears. We're going to the gym. We're eating healthy. And her initial response was, I hurt my back. She has no idea how to handle this. And by the way, this video, two hours... 1.8 thousand views, 172 likes. She's talking about being injured at the gym and, and kind of directing people to that video. But the way YouTube works with notifications, she's going to really struggle to get a big imprint with these videos because she's putting them out so rapidly. And now she's going to really find that she's going to have to make more and more content. When, as I said, this could all have been spread out over 10 days. It really could have. Start something, build a base... Instead of trying to do this, spilling more of it on herself, not even realizing it. And it, she just picked it. She just picked it off it and, and put it right back in the bowl. Like most people would just throw it away. But not Chantal. With these little meals, she's got to make sure she gets every last niblet. She's not enjoying this. You can just tell. If you've watched her eat... Hopefully, for the other creators that might watch this, do a comparison between this and an ashy and see which chicken is more enjoyed. And now she's saying, if my back wasn't hurting, I would have made a big salad with this. So again, we're, we're taking something designed for portion control, and we are adding our own elements in to make it more of a meal than it should be. And then we're going to blame everyone else for our failures than us. Even if it's a salad, the, the challenge with Chantal isn't the salad. It's what comes with the salad. The dressings, the cheese. I mean, look at what we did with Parmesan on spaghetti just two weeks ago. And contrast that with where we are now. Everything is such a dramatic 180, 360 degree change. One day we're eating mass quantities. The next day we're on a restrictive diet. One day, we're laying in bed watching movies. The next day, we're going to a gym. Nothing is ever eased into. And when you're not easing yourself into these things, the end result is you're going to hurt yourself. I'm, I'm still just flabbergasted that they have cardio equipment right there. She's talking about a dream that she's having with Sala living in Canada. And just, who cares, Chantal? This is the reality of this woman. 
all of the issues that she has truly impacting her, and she believes that sitting here and citing a dream about her being 40 and in high school is the solution to her problems. And why wouldn't she just wake Sal up and tell him all this if they're sleeping in the same bed, right? Doesn't doesn't seem to make much sense. She's just digging into this chicken. You know, I, I I was hesitant to say this in a in a prior video, but I feel like, and I mentioned it when I showed her a comment. She was so optimistic. She was basically saying, hey, this time I can't fail, and we failed right away. It makes me wonder how close we are to, you know, the bedbound arc. Because we know, we've seen historically, that this is the way things play out. You know, you sit there, you can't keep your own eating in check. Then you make the decision to not physically go out and do things. Then someone has to do everything for you. Then you almost have the last hurrah of, okay, I, I have to make these changes and I'm going to go out and exercise and eat right. And then when that fails, I, I have no idea what she's doing. She's singing. It is just so chaotic. I, have, I think she was singing The Wall for a second from Pink Floyd. I, I'm i just going to pretend that whole part didn't happen. And she laughs at herself. I think she laughs at herself more than people laugh at her. At least in the time she's trying to be funny. I, If someone knows what she's referencing, it's strange that when I watch this, I seem to be more aware of the reality of her situation than she is. I think most people in her situation, in her body would be in a full-blown panic mode of what have I let happen to myself and what can I do to resolve this as fast as possible? And that is not sitting here singing Pink Floyd. It's really not. I think this just shows her inability to understand her life. You know, sitting here and talking about high school, 20 years removed from a graduation, as if it's important, and referencing her animals into these conversations, when it's just, there's no context for any of this. She is living every day in what would be some people's nightmares. She's constantly uncomfortable. She can't walk now without being hurt. She can't go outside. She can't drive. This would cause anxiety out of so many people. And to her, it's just almost a relief to not have these responsibilities. The ice cream has got to be turning into liquid as well. I'm sorry, if you tuned into this for a recap of her story, I can't provide it to you. High school, all these stray cats, she's lost Julia in an airport. It almost seems like there wasn't a dream, and she's just making the story up as it goes along. How about the dream where you took care of your animals proper, didn't have to rehome them, and one of them didn't end up in your arch rival on YouTube's hands? How about that? Can we have that dream? <laughs> the fact that she's having cat dreams establishes to me that I know FFG and the BBJ situation constantly stay with her. She can say she's over it so many times, but she's not. If you want a timestamp, we're at the 14 minute mark. She's talking about a cat in an aquarium with a snake. I mean, the fever dream ramblings of Chantal. I now understand better where her skits are derived from. It's sitting around in this haze. 
and now she's saying, Salah, I haven't been the best Muslim, but if you can help me find the cat, everything will be right. And then Julia appeared. Jeez, if if only Steven Spielberg could hear this story and immediately begin filming. If only she could repeat this story, because it is the most interesting one I've ever heard. She has finished the chicken, set it to the side... And she is grabbing the cup of, I don't know that it was ever made clear. Someone's also beeping in the background. She doesn't like vivid dreams, but she likes very vivid nightmares. I would again offer that she has not made any near the amount of audibles that she does when she has a meal that she likes. When she has a meal she likes, these dreams, these stories, they don't cross her mind because she's so enamored with the food. She's so involved in the moment of eating. But when she has these foods that don't derive that same pleasure, she's so easily brought back to other things. She's not even, and in my opinion, she's not even respecting the food she has now as nutrition because she's just eating things she doesn't like to get them out of her possession. You know, she has to eat this food. It's there. Sala paid for it. I have a commercial for PetSmart Grooming. A bath and full haircut. With style expert Jamie. I love these commercials. I was more excited about the commercial than the actual content. So hopefully you got the same commercial. And then we're brought back to reality of her and her friends in high school. Digging into a plastic cup of pre-packed food that's supposed to change her life with a diet and calorie restriction. Setting the cup to the side, along with the fork. How wasteful is this meal going to be from a plastic perspective? I... The utensils, the packaging, her giant water. She says that was actually good, which again, reassurement that it wasn't. Pouring herself a big glass of water and getting to the piece de la resistance. The melted chocolate ice cream now in pudding form. You can actually see, I kind of kept my eye on it, just like Chantal did. I kept my eye on it. You can actually see it slowly melt throughout the video. So I can't wait till she takes this wooden spoon and digs in. She slept most of the day. Shocked. Oh, her hands are just... Oh, yep, she literally went to get the ice cream and it fell right on her. Major edit, cleans herself off, but as I was saying before that, her hands have just... I don't know if it's, if it's the optics to me with the henna or not, but... We really didn't have anything other than the ring to reference as a size. But now that I can see her hands, they, they are so swollen. You know, it, it's almost like her whole arm, her forearm is swollen. And it's, I mean, listen, it's scary to see someone that, I, I want to say borderline deformed. I mean, she's holding this cup and her fingers really kind of fail to separate. The challenge she has with this wooden spoon, because her hand is too big to fit into the container. So she's kind of having to, to turn the container on its side and almost let the ice cream fall into the spoon rather than a traditional scoop situation. Which I think a normal person would see these things in front of them and say, wait a second, I can't actually eat proper. She's going right back to Julia, getting the nails trimmed. The vet is amazing there. I hope it is, Chantal, and I hope you set up appointments every six months for your animals. Not just the cat, the hamster as well. Go all out. You know, the fact that you're sitting here projecting all the things you're doing now doesn't make up for all the neglect you did in the past. So, 
She's talking right now about the convenience. She loves that she just has to sit down and eat it. She doesn't have to count anything. But you do, Chantal, because you've already said you're adding things to it. She's talking about how it's kind of like a Weight Watcher system. You know, nothing is forbidden. Mm. She says they don't have fried food, but they have a bit of everything, you know. And she's using the chocolate ice cream as a reference point for the options they have. And she's talking about the cheesecake. She's talking about the chocolate ice cream. And obviously Sala questioned this. And Chantel is teaching him, well, you know, if you take everything away... You know, Chantal, why not accept the fact that you've overindulged for multiple years and give yourself a true restriction for a month, three weeks? That way, as you incorporate those things back in, you have a newfound respect for them. You know, instead of sitting here and telling us about the balance that you feel. But she said she's not about to make piccata because, you know, Busy girl, doesn't have time, has things to do, diets to fail, gyms to uh, spend 10 minutes in. Pounding the rest of this water. Just so you know, I'm at the 20 minute and 40 second mark. She just said some days she's going to feel like pushing herself more. You know, Chantel, there's going to be a day that you won't be able to push. And you're going to wish you were back in this moment where you could. It's happening, and everyone sees it. As she literally on cue sighs and says, I have to get this weight off. She's saving the spoon. She's going to throw everything away in the bag that it came in. And she's established she has to, to get up. And just constantly talking about her back. Sala just came in. Massive edit. Salah has a genuine question of how it tastes. He's probably hoping it wasn't good based on the cost. And she's she's really selling the meal of is really satisfying. It didn't look like a lot, but once I started eating, it was. And oh, they have all these menu items, so maybe we could try a few more. They've got lasagna. Yeah. Let's see her uh let's see her have that lasagna without any parmesan cheese. She says that she'll see us in the next video. She thanks us for watching. She urges us to watch the vlog and that's it. Yeah. That's it for me too. I appreciate you guys sticking around through the most boring of boring videos. Hopefully, I can get this one out a little bit more on time than the others and I will be back. Hopefully, like, you know, if we could stay on track a couple days, I guess I'll give her her props. She's trying, but we need to see the full commitment, not one mini meal moment within a day. I will be back as soon as I can with more content.